to number six with cheese. Today is Thursday. Today is a local. Take the exit on the right. We'll probably do that. Uh, today is a local Chicago spot. There's three of these, two in the city, one in Aurora. This is M Burger. We're gonna get their little smash bacon cheeseburgers. And don't forget guys, we've got our winter variety pack for our merch up for sale on the number six with cheese website. Make sure that on the right. driving, making sure you go the right place. And I don't remember where I was at, but you guys get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, go the right direction online and we'll go to the restaurant. Okay, here we go. Single cheeseburgers from M Burger here in River North, downtown Chicago, acquired Jump Cut. Alrighty. Corey Wagner, second angle. Alright, see what we got here. Open this bad boy up. Bloom, blam, bloom. Boy, woohoo. Okay, there we go. That's a cheesy boy. There it is. Okay, open the bun. And we've got a smash burger. We've got some bacon. There's some cheese on there. Looks like they do a little bit of ketchup. And um, yeah, that's all she wrote, guys. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And then real quick on the big camera, here it is. You can see that little crispiness of the meat. Little cheesy burg up close. All right, guys, food review time. M Burger, cheers. Cheers. Mmm, i got great taste. Oh, there's pickles and mustard on the bottom. This place kind of brands itself as like a local fast food restaurant. This okay. burger was like five bucks. Mm -hmm. Very much like a grab and go kind of staple for like people working down here. Okay. This would always be one of my first ever uh, places that like anybody in my office eight years ago and I worked down here, they would always go to M Burger. I, I tagged along. So I haven't had it in like eight years. Nope. So okay. couldn't, couldn't remember. Oh, that's delicious. Mm -hmm. Five bucks feels appropriate for me because it's bacon. There's a decent amount of bacon. It's not like really crappy bacon either. It's no, good. it is good, yeah. I mean, it's small, but I mean, it's a bacon burger. I mean, mm -hmm. how much cheaper do you want it? Yeah, I, I mean, know. especially downtown Chicago. Yeah. I mean, there's one in the water tower as well. Um, but yeah, you can get a double for $7.99, it's time. Yeah, I mean, it's just like a damn good burger. Yeah, flavor's great. Yeah. Meat is so well cooked and the cheese is all melted out of the burger. It's just solid. In downtown, things are more expensive, so. Yeah, it's just visually too, it's so gorgeous. They got a real sweet spot because it tastes better than a McDonald's, Wendy's, or Burger King burger. Mm -hmm. It's a little less than what you pay for. Like, um, you don't get as much of a burger. Right. I mean, I was bigger than McDouble, smaller than Big Mac, whatever, you know. But it tastes better because it's a smash burger and other smash burger places that are fast food, i.e. Smash Burger right. or Epic Burger, whatever that other one was. Yeah, and it's Shake Shack. Or Shake Shack. Shake yes. Shack, right? Yeah. Smash Burger and Shake Shack. Those are like 11 bucks. I know. And they're not that big either. Right. That's a really good point. A little bit bigger than that, but still, they're paying way more. This is kind of, to me, almost like a Shake Shack killer for downtown Chicago. Yeah, it's got a good niche. The only reason you're going to Shake Shack over this place is because of the name. Like, you want to mm -hmm. go to Shake Shack, you know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. this place has chicken sandwiches and fries and stuff like that, too. It's virtually the same menu. But yeah, it's just cheaper. I take this over Shake Shack. Every day. Shake Shack's delicious, but yeah. I can get the same deliciousness for less money, I don't need, it's not, it's not that much smaller of a burger. It looks tiny, I bet, I'm sure. Yeah. It's not that bad. The story my mom, always loves to tell is she visited me one time here and we went to Shake Shack because mm -hmm. we were like out doing a bunch of stuff we needed something fast she never had it guess how much it was for four people five people to eat oh my god it was like 30 bucks it was a hundred dollars four burgers two fries maybe shakes or something like that like and not like so much food just with like when it was all sudden it was like 97 dollars I'm not kidding I still will never forget it I was when she said it I was like well let me see the and it, she was right because like the, maybe people got double burgers so you were so hungry. Still That's though. like $12.99 or some crazy. Like, yeah. Mm-hmm. Nuts. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. Well. <laughs> yeah. Wish she would have came here. Huh? I know. Mm-hmm. That's just a damn solid burger. And it took us about three minutes to eat that. So efficient <laughs> yeah, today. Quick for them to cook, quick for us to eat. Yeah. Guys, uh, we do videos Monday through Thursday for everybody to see. Paid ones on Friday if you want to see us uh, kicking it at Corey's drinking. Patreon. Just for Patreon. Yeah, because it's not just paid. So don't just Patreon. throw me money and then be like. Yeah, you gotta sign up for Patreon. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Don't show up to Corey's and just toss him money. You get some PayPal people who sometimes get confused. I know, they get confused, like, they do. Hey, here's some money, do this thing. I'm like, mm -hmm. eh, that's not how that works. 
the monthly, uh, we know the money's coming in. That helps. That goes way, mm -hmm. way further for us. But like this video, working our butts off, making these videos for five, six years now. And then today, what is the tastiest, most inexpensive burger in your in your town? Oh, that's your great. Life? Um, in my hometown, in Redford, Michigan, and keep in mind, whenever I say hometown for me, it's like these three towns that all sit next to each other. Mine's Bates. It's Bates Hamburgers. It's kind of like uh, White Castle. Okay. It's like dinery, but like sliders, and it's like real cheap to get a sack of five or ten of them. Oh wow. That was like super cheap. I remember growing up, they were like seventy cents. Yeah. Bates is my answer. Yeah, I had a place in Toledo called the Four Horsemen where you get a burger and fries on Fridays for like three fifty or oh something my stupid. Oh god. And it was like those big burgers, like yeah. a big bar burger, you know? Right, like a pub, yeah, a big pub burger. A yeah. big pub burger. Absolutely. Was like, hey, really? This is the price? Okay, whatever. I think every town like has a spot. Yeah. It's like so, what is to what it. came to mind when we asked that question? Uh, what is the burger spot in your town comment below all right time to rate it let's do it um about five and some change for that with bacon uh, out of five i wonder if the m stands for mm. <laughs> i'm just a curious guy no i was doing the oh <laughs> but it's only one m yeah just mm, burger mm. <laughs> not mm. That's funny. M&M's? Yeah, that's perfect. Out of five M&M's, how many M&M's do you give the five and some chains bacon smash burger and burger Corey? I think that's really good. I really like the price with the flavor. It's a jump up in price for regular fast food, but also a big jump up in flavor in my opinion. And it sits below that like Shake Shack and um, the other one, what's the other Smash burger. Smash burger. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think it's like found a great niche. I'm telling you, if all three of those different types of spots, if there was like a McDonald's, a Shake Shack, and an M burger sitting on a corner, yeah. and I was in the mood for some fast food stuff, I'd get M burger. That's that would be my move. So I'd rather have that up in flavor. Yeah. And it's not that much of a jump in price. I thought it was great. I'm gonna give it I'm gonna give that a four. I think that's a yeah. really, 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 really good fast food burger. Now everybody from the 313, put your I didn't realize when when I picked this place today like how price conscious this was. I like forgot about that, how cheap that is. That is major points, especially yeah. the fact that it's here in Chicago. There's not much wrong with that. I mean, like you said, like what would be that what would be comparable to that in like from like McDonald's or Wendy's, just like a single cheeseburger? Which is probably because no, like, they're kind of completely different. Or you mean for price or Yeah, what? like if you're comparing that to like no the size and the food, like what would be the, the size. side by side burger and fast food? Like what would be a good example to tell them like size wise? Yeah. Like a McDouble. Like a McDouble. Yeah, I probably bought a McDouble. Yeah, yeah, that's a good point. That's about what I was trying to like think about what the comparison. Which is that, but McDouble's what a buck fifty. But it, I think McDoubles are great, but I really like that flavor more. Me too. The crispy edges of that smash burger. Uh, not much wrong with that. I really like that. So you said four, right? Something like that. I can't remember. I, think... I blacked out again. <laughs> I think that's a perfect score. Uh, it's a good burger. Not the greatest burger, but so much points for price. I'm also going four. Look at that. Four M&Ms. Is this only in Chicago, do you know? Yes, okay. in Aurora, Illinois. There's one in okay. Aurora. Well, which... I hope they expand. They deserve it. They've been around a really long time. They got all the branding for like what should be a chain restaurant. Yeah. It feels like a chain brand. Yeah, that's a good point. It does. All right, guys, well, that's a burger review. Don't forget to comment a burger in your town that's super affordable and that you like, and we'll see you tomorrow uh, if you're a patron. Tomorrow, $10 or not Patreon people will get a link right at 6 a.m. Eastern to go watch our Friday video at Corey's. So if you want to be a part of that. There's been a number of people sign up for the $10. I don't know if that's coincidental that. or if they're jumping on for that. Mm -hmm. But join the join the club, guys. Join the club. And we'll uh, see you tomorrow for those folks that do that and Monday for the rest. So have a good one, guys. Take care.